Well, we did ask you on Facebook this morning, what with it being soup season all over uh, South Africa, uh, what your favorite soup is. Uh, chili nights obviously call for uh, those tummy filling yummy soups, right? Yeah, absolutely. Everyone's got their favorite. Eliana says, mornings, I love vegetable soup with fresh baked bread, soul food kind of stuff. Yes. Uh, Luther Are, good morning, my Expresso family. My favorite soup is fresh vegetables with brown bread. Oh, mm. sounds good. Mm. Kerry Are, butternut soup with buttered bread, butter all over. Yes, ma'am. Michelle, uh, good morning, Expresso fam. Uh, and everyone, I just love my samp and bean soup with chicken necks in, mmm, yummy in my tongue. Me. Yeah. What? Love that. The chicken Some necks, I think it takes it to a whole new level. Chicken necks. Oh, love it. Dikilani. Has it udi loma? Wait. Oh, and then, and then when, when, the, when the soup liquid is done, and then yeah. you're just left with the chicken necks, and you yeah. just, just. Yeah. And, 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 and if you're me, you are shredding that chicken neck. But that's what I mean. They don't go anywhere. But I get it, there's a technique to it. You can't just shred the chicken neck. You've got to first get the meat from all around the bones. Uh -huh. Then you suck the marrow out. Uh -huh. Then make sure all the cartilage is gone. Yeah. Then you get in on the bones and then just... Ah, uh, even if it was sent to RCU, uh, it wouldn't it Listen, wouldn't be resuscitated. It's an art. It's, it's, done. Done. <laughs> it's done. It's done. Well, thank you so Wait, much for those. Those are beautiful. Oh, there's we, more. There's more. We've got to give cool. Jolene a chance. She says she loves her split pea and bacon with homemade bread. That's her favorite way of enjoying some soup. Mmm, sopo man. Yeah, mo sopo. Unati. You, I mean, you have to suck the marrow out of the bone when you're eating anything with amatam, boy, and mm -hmm. also just crunch on it until it turns into powder. Otherwise, into you haven't powder. eaten meat. Yeah, I feel good. you, feel you. But you know what? The temperature is outside. It's cold. It's cold outside. But there's no need to worry, because we are going to be so warm inside with this hearty, spicy, ah. split pea soup, everybody. Yes, this dish is an all-time favorite here on the show, which we are giving a surprising and delicious twist to it. And here to show us how to make the scrumptious soup is the one, the only, Chef Claire. Du, 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 du. I like that. Can we, can we do like a little jiggle every time I come in, then I got to like... Chef Claire. Hey, du, I du, dig du, that. Du, du, du. I like it. Thank it you so much. So we're taking a split pea soup and we're going to give it a bit of a twist. We're going to give it a Thai twist and I'm going to do that by using a little bit of Thai curry paste. Mm. It's so simple. You don't need to go and make it. These are like an instant way to add so much flavor and spice to any soup, stew that we're doing today. Mm. Even making sauces out of these. It's amazing. It's instant flavor. Instant flavor. Green so, curry. Green curry. So in you have got a, I've got some oil already in the pan. All I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of toast. You, you want to toast the flavors that are in here. There's a lot of garlic, ginger, lemongrass, all these things that are in here, but you want to toast them and release those flavors, just like we do when we do normal spices yes. and nuts. We toast them to bring out the flavor. So that's going in there. And it's so fragrant. As soon as it hits the oil... There's just oil in the pan right just now. Just oil. Mm. As soon as it hits the oil, you're going to smell it. It's amazing. It's so beautiful. Wait, Chef Kim, I just need to confirm something with you. You know how we always chop our onions, chop our garlic, mm -hmm. chop our ginger, whatever it may be, and put it in the pot. Is this what you have replaced all of that labor with? This guy over here. That's the guy I'm yeah. talking about. So if you're going to okay. come here, we've got our onions, we've got our carrots, mm. and we've got, a bit of, we've got our split peas. Now, split peas, split pea soup is like one of those soups that hugs you from the inside out. Mm. It like, kind of breaks down and goes creamy and starchy, and that's what we're going to kind of play on today. And the fact that it's already in a soup mix means you don't need to be chopping all those carrots. Yes. You don't need to be chopping all the onions. Save the tears for like something else. This is convenience in a bag. So I'm going to amp up the flavor with a little bit of extra mm. garlic. I love garlic. Can I just say it smells Divine. It does, eh? Mm. Like I said, we're traveling the world just through the soups from, from Woolies, and I love that. And it's all about it's all about trying and experimenting soups, getting in the, in the kitchen, playing around with like different nuts and seeds and toppings, like we toasted our cheese to create a bit of crunch. And it's all about that. So I retract my statement. It's not about main main chick and side chick butternut soup. Da, 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 da. <laughs> we don't condone cheating with immediate no. effect. We don't condone that. Not this, here on the show. In in the 
when it comes to cooking, it's mm. all about just playing around, tasting things, mm. like just getting your palate used to different flavors and mm. getting creative in the kitchen. That's what it's all about. And talking about getting creative in the kitchen, Jolene says that she puts bacon in her soup. Yeah, bacon in split pea soup. Mm. It's like a classic, it's more like a pea and ham soup. Mm. That you can totally do that. Mm. So instead of the bacon, we're taking that out, we're going spicy instead oh. of introducing that smoke. And instead of using cream or something to give it that extra creamy texture with like a normal pea and ham soup, we're gonna accentuate the Thai flavors and use coconut milk instead. Okay, just to bring I it see, through. I it's see, so I easy, see. it's so, so, so easy. And also this recipe works for vegetarians as well. That's what I love about it. Whether you're vegan, vegetarian, a carnivore of note, <laughs> you're gonna absolutely love soups because you can, you just make it so wholesome and so delicious by playing around with what your dietary requirements are and making it your own. Just like Willie's have done with their soups and it's all about the ingredients. They've, they've kind of like catered to all palates and all cuisines and all diets with these soups, mm. which I, I, I love that. I love that so much. To. Okay, so you can smell it. I added the bag of veggies in there already. I'm gonna mm. turn up the heat a little bit. So we're gonna add our chicken stock. I just love cooking with split peas in general. It just breaks down and it goes, becomes so hearty and so thick. Mm. It's kind of it's one of those ingredients that just keeps you full of for longer. I love it so much. Uh, that's what I think a lot of people love about soup is that it's easy to make, it's quick to make, and also it's just truly filling. Chef Clem, I saw a red circle on that packet. Is that for sale? Are there sales there at Woolies currently? Well, you're currently saving if you're buying two. Mm, okay. So I mean, check it, out, check it out in Daily Difference. So you're gonna get a two for 50 Rand. So what you save, what do you do with the money that you save from Daily Difference? Tell me quickly. Of course, come on. Tell me about this. Tell it to the camera so they can know exactly what to do when they save. We have to um, gift of the givers. Gift of the givers. What you have to do, Will go and get that. Gift of the givers, donate. Scan. the QR code on the screen Send. right now, darling. If you don't have um, Snap Scan, you can definitely also use your banking app to just donate at least it and rand as we've mentioned. We know the difference it makes. It makes a whole lot yeah. of difference. One person can be fed with three meals just to, for it and rand. And something really special. Tell me. We're just 280,000 meals away from reaching our one million meal goal. Can you believe what? that? Yes. Come yes. on. It's absolutely amazing. I get so excited when we come together to make a difference. And I mean, it's been proven how much difference we can actually yes. make. That one weekend when someone just came in, boom, an extra million. It wasn't one person, it was quite a few people. <laughs> that one weekend where we just jumped a million rand. Imagine. Yeah, we can do it again. 100%. We can do it again. Okay. 100%. So this soup, you can cook until the split beans start breaking down and then getting into the soup, going delicious, creamy, like what we wanted. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna dish them up. It's so good. And the spices, you, earlier they mentioned a stoop. Mm, Do you know what a stoop yes. is? A stoop is half soup, half stew. And that's kind of like another type of soup that you get. And this mm. is a stoop. So that's a stoop. Yeah, it's half stew, half mm. soup, because it's all got that liquidy essence of soup, but the chunkiness of a good stew. The content that's in there. as well, that's yeah. very true. Yeah, so I'm, I'm toasting some um, sunflower seeds, some pumpkin seeds. Okay. You can add a bit of spice to that if you want a bit of extra garlic. Mm. This is gonna be our crouton. And we're using nuts and seeds because I mean, just like getting creative again with the different flavors you need to use. So once it starts popping like it is now, we just do a little sprinkle. And you sprinkle, can use some- Sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You could use some coriander if you want. We just got some beautiful shoots over here. Just to make it look extra pretty. Every, extra delicious. pretty. In Cape Town, we'd be charging 800 Rand for that right now. <laughs> so, I mean, but that's how easy it is to recreate like these amazing dishes at home using Willie's soups. Mm. The goodness is in the bag. It is soup season now. Get in the kitchen, get creative, get serving this up. Your family's gonna love you. They're gonna love the food. Truly, yeah. goodness is in the bag. So we've received quite a number of um, messages on our Facebook page. This one comes from Usimon Rousseau. She says, morning! Something I can't afford to buy, but Woolies has the best butternut soup. I die for butternut soup. Well, now as she well can, because she's on sale. Exactly. Yes. Go and get it. Go you and see? get it. We oh, always got you covered. On the comment of the of the chicken necks, mm -hmm. yes, yes. <laughs> chicken necks give you so much flavor in your soups and in your stocks. Mm. And for me, the best part is sitting with that bone. Oh, 100%. And just getting all that meat out of just there. You've got to. Reflecting on your life. Oh, really? Life decisions? Just like how well you've been doing in uh -huh. life or where you want to just change things in life and where you want to achieve yourself in life wow. and okay moving Food on will do that to you. Food will do that to you oh my god 100 percent um the last comment comes from ashadia she says split pea soup with lamb and a yeah. super cheesy garlicky focaccia all right so we got this heat and eat garlic bread over here mm. which i'm serving with this soup over here so yes this will totally go really well with it i'm talking about like pea and ham absolutely mm. but the thing is if you don't eat pork pea and lamb 
Oh, delish. Oh, delish. so good, so Especially good. It's like soft and tender and juicy and everything. Give, and... give me the fatty bit of lamb as well. Really? Oh. Are you that person? Ye yes. Oh, wow. And, no, not you. No. You like I, the lean, you I, like the meat. Yes, I like, no. I need to get into the meat. Chef Clem, um, you've I'm made in. all of this look super easy, but if you super at home easy. have missed a simple step, here's a recap. No. Super easy. I get, I get it. Cap. I get it. Huh? What? <laughs>